What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanna show you the $600 gaming or streaming or video editing PC that you can build on your own and save so much money. This thing is super capable. It can play games, it can edit videos, it can stream for under $600. All these parts cost under $600 and you can build your own and save money. Now, first things first, let me go over the parts and then I'll tell you how much each one costs and then you can make your own decision and I'll show you how I build it and then I will show you how capable this thing is uh, with gaming or video editing. So first thing and most important, the motherboard and the CPU. The motherboard is the MSI B450M Pro M2 Max. This thing is a very high quality. It comes in at $95 and it's compatible out of the box with the third gen Ryzen. This processor is a Ryzen 5 3600 it's the six core 12 threads processor it's a monster uh 4.2 gigahertz at 12 threads it, it can just do anything for the for the money this is the best bank for your buck and it comes in at 155 dollars at the time of this video after that the ddr4 rams of my choice is the team group t-force vulcan z i specifically chose this because it has a lifetime warranty and it's a 32 megahertz uh, RAM sticks. So the CPU needs a fast RAM. So in order for the CPU to work uh, very efficiently and very quickly, uh, it needs a RAM to support the speed. So 32 megahertz is the maximum speed the uh, CPU can handle. And these are 32 megahertz, so they're perfect. Now the uh, power supply, it's the Apivia. Prestige 600 watts 80 gold 80 plus gold certified so anything 80 plus certified should be good um, I would stay within uh, the 550 650 watt uh, power range so that's what I have here I have the 600 uh, watts okay the Rams cost $60 on Amazon the power supply cost $55 on Amazon and the SSD cost $30 on Amazon the final piece for this whole PC is the case. This is the Montic Fighter 600. It's a budget piece. Uh, it, it comes with all these three fans and one fan in the back. Uh, mine got delivered with a part of it off, but it doesn't matter really. Uh, this is a $60 case with all these fans installed. It's a great option for the budget. And you know what? I already got this PC put together and the quality is, is really good. It's not it's not bad at all. So for the graphics card I have this massive 8 gigabyte MSI R9 390. This thing can run any game, video streaming, video editing, whatever you want to do with it. This thing can do it. And now let me show you how I build it and I'll show you what it can do.
Okay, now I got the PC all hooked up. And to put it to the test, uh, rendering is always heavy on the CPU. So I, I'm i going to lay over, lay over the metrics here. Okay, so I'm rendering now a six minute video. The CPU is almost at 100%. 93 95% which is not bottlenecked yet and the uh, the rendering is moving really fast uh, yesterday I posted the video right before this one it was 18 minutes it had time-lapse it had clips it had all kind of things and it was 1080p 60 frames per second and it's 18 minutes it rendered the whole 18 minutes in 26 minutes that's that's super fast in the past I used to wait like 45 minutes for the video to render but this PC setup I mean even I'm rendering a video right now and the CPU it's not bottlenecked just yet it's not at a hundred percent and we all know how uh, rendering videos is super heavy on CPU specific after this is finished we're gonna test it on playing some games after the PC performed phenomenal in the video editing process I played Fortnite for about three hours at only high and epic uh, settings and uh, after three hours of playing the Radeon software uh, showed that we averaged about 124 frames per second which is really really uh, high end it, w it tells you that the graphics card and the CPU performed great in the game at the very highest uh, settings Fortnite is not a very demanding game. There's games that request a lot more from the GPU and the CPU, but getting 124 frames per second at the high end epic settings, it, it, it tells you that it, this is a very capable PC. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hopefully it was inspiring to you. Hopefully uh, you can uh, now make a better decision on picking your parts or making your own PC. Uh, this thing is more than enough for me. I don't need to spend thousands of dollars on a, on, a, on a gaming or video editing PC. This thing is super quick, super fast. It can do anything I wanna do and it's more than enough for me. With that being said, I appreciate you watching. Please hit the thumbs up, please subscribe down there and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.